Um, so the basic question about prices is fairly obvious. Um, prices are derived from cost and demand. And uh, Ontario still clings to the model, more or less, of average cost pricing, uh, which was a regulatory innovation of post-World War II economies in the United States and Europe. Um, we have a smart grid, but our regulation is mired in the distant past. Um, that's my bias. Uh, so we have high costs because we have too much generation and we have too much uh, grid infrastructure and our grid infrastructure is old and hasn't been properly maintained. And we have nuclear power in Ontario, which is extremely expensive and uh, the demand of which has never lived up to its billing and continues to deteriorate pathetically. Um, we have old uh, coal plants that should already be gone. They're just costing us money now without producing any power. There's a big old gas plant on the shores of Lake Ontario, which is now whose future apparently is not affected by the decision to build a brand new gas plant on the site. Um, and we have a 38% reserve margin on Ontario, where in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland market, when it was restructured, there was an estimate of the cost savings that derived from restructuring. The primary savings to customers was that the market and its operations allowed reliability to be managed better and allowed the reserve margin to decline from 15% to 12%. And that drove down costs in the PGM market by $4 billion. And in Ontario, we have a 38% reserve margin because we won't close plants. We keep building new ones and we won't close them. Adam asked a very good question about why should we be in support of green energy. And I would argue that the environmental community has done itself and the pro-green community has done itself a disservice in arguing about carbon and green jobs and all of that stuff because there's no market for carbon, it's worthless, and the green jobs are a mirage. Why we should want to build renewable power is that we need the energy. It can replace old and expensive forms of energy, and it's renewable. <laughs> I mean, renewable energy has the advantage that the fuel is free. We love free fuel, right? you got to sell it. The capital costs are high, but these are long lead, these are long lived investments. We're using hydroelectric facilities that were built 106 years ago in Niagara Falls, all of which fully depreciated, all of which were huge scandals at the time Adam Beck built them. They were massive cost overruns, but I was just joking this morning, you know, better overrun on a, on a hydro plant or a wind plant or a gas plant than a nuclear plant. You know, we're going to have a uh, capital cost to bear because we want, you know, we live in one of the most affluent societies on the planet. We want to keep it that way. Uh, whether that's sustainable is a very important political and social question for our society. But um, we can get rid of this old, uh, high emitting, low efficiency, expensive, deteriorating generation and replace it with renewable energy if we can engage customers. So I would, you know, my advice uh, is let's talk about renewable energy for the energy it produces instead of for the externalities, because the externalities aren't that relevant to most people. Uh, and Ontarians will support paying for green energy if we sell it to them on that basis compared to the alternative, because the alternatives are brutal.